Hey guys, it's Parker Doman, the Longhorn Engineer, and I'm here with my first consumer product ever made for dynamic perception. It's the AT2 motion controller, and it is basically a two-axis DC brushed motor controller that uses joystick as an input or potentiometers as inputs. And so right now I have only one gear DC motor and I'll go ahead and power it up real quick and do a quick demonstration of its features and so putting 12 volts into it it's my old homemade power supply and I am in joystick mode as you can see so when you're in joystick mode the potentiometer acts as a adjustable dampener uh, for the motor. So if I turn it all the way to the left, that's zero dampening. It's kind of hard to see since the motor is rocking around. But you can kind of tell it ramps into the motion. So if I hold it over, and then if I let go, it's going to spool down. And this is useful when you're trying to control, you know, your camera equipment. And so you don't get, you know, a really jerky move. Then, when you're in potentiometer mode, press that button right there, the potentiometer acts as kind of like a cruise control. So you can set the set the dial at the speed you want, and then you can control the other motor with the joystick. And see that disables this channel. So here's the insides of the AT2 motion controller. So that's the joystick up there. It's connected. The potentiometers on the joystick are connected to the board. So we have our 5 volt regulator, capacitor for filtering. These two guys right here are the quad op amps. It requires four op amps per channel. That's a L298 motor controller. And at the top, we have some quad, is it quad? Um, I think it's quad. Uh, analog switches. And so when you press these buttons, it swaps which mode the potentiometers, how the potentiometers are hooked up, and how the joystick is hooked up. And then on the back, we have some direction flip switches. So you can uh, basically just swaps the PWM output of these uh, op amps to this motor controller. So you can be on one side of your, uh, let's say your camera dolly, and if you move the joystick right and this slider goes left, that's kind of annoying, so you just flip a little switch, and now when you move the joystick right, the slider goes right. These are the two uh, square waves that come off the op amp, the uh, last two op amps. So this is when, um, when the potentiometer is right in the middle, it's sending basically two highs to the uh, motor controller to logic highs and so if we start adjusting one direction let's see if I can get the trigger to go on channel 2 there you go as you can see we can adjust this guy and as we do that the uh, length of the off pulse increases And we start going the other way, and we've got to switch the trigger to the other channel. So we start turning it out the other way, the other channel starts dropping down. So I'm pulling the triangle wave right now, and uh, let's see if we can go ahead and switch the trigger to channel 2. There we are, now it's not all, shouldn't be all funky. Set to 50%. There we go, locked. So, what I did is I drew these two horizontal lines, a dashed line and a solid line, 
and these represent the cutoffs for the PWM wave for the two up amps on the on the uh, output that are in voltage comparator mode and so one activates when this triangle wave goes below this line and the other one activates when it goes above this line and then this guy channel one has one of the square waves outputs and so what I'm going to do is start turning this and you can see right it's kind of hard to see on the video but wherever this uh, triangle wave peaks over this line it's outputting a low for that uh, output and so if we increase it and see now we're most of that triangle wave is actually above the cutoff line and so we get more downtime and we keep cranking it and then set the 50% level there you go locked again so now we only have a little tiny part it's actually below the threshold there, which is these guys. And keep, and that's that's max, um, max. So you can't actually go 100% with the motor controller, but you can get pretty close. And see if we start going the other way.